In this question, we're focused on the sales price variance for Golden Company. Now, if we look at all the information that's given, well, they give us the budget and actual information for sales and sales volume, but we don't have the individual sale price per unit from a budget and actual perspective. And we're gonna need that because that is key inputs to the sales price variance approach that we're gonna to need to perform. And if we think about the question that Golden Company is trying to answer is, did we end up selling this product for more or less than we had budgeted? Because if we only have total sales, yes, we see that actual sales were lower, but was that due to volume or a lower sale price? We don't know that. We do have sales volume, and we can see that that is lower, but what's the composition of the sales price impact and then the sales volume impact on total sales? And that's what we're trying to figure out here. So let's start by calculating the sales price variance. So what we're gonna to need to do is quickly take the total sales and divide that by sales volume for both the budget and actual to give us what the actual price and budgeted price were. So for the budget, it's 50,000 divided by 10,000. That's $5 per unit. And then the actual sales price per unit, well, that's 47,530 divided by 9,800. That is an actual sales price per unit of $4.85. So the difference there in the unit price is 15 cents. Now we're gonna multiply that by actual quantity or actual sales volume. And that results in a sales price variance of 1,470. That's gonna be unfavorable, right? Because the actual sales price per unit was lower. And if you're the sales team, the goal is to sell it for more than you had budgeted or the standard. So we know the sales price variance is 1,470, which is what the question's asking for. So that's gonna be the correct answer. Now hang with me if you wanna take this one step further and do the sales volume variance using the sales price approach so that we have the full picture on why total sales decreased. So with the sales volume of variance using the sales price approach, we're gonna compare the actual sales volume of 9,800 to the uh, budgeted sales volume of 10,000. And we can see the volume was short by 200 units. And then we multiply by that standard uh, price per unit of $5, and that gives us a sales volume variance using the sales price approach of 1,000, and that is unfavorable as well. Now, the whole reason I wanted to show you when we perform both of these variance calculations, we can see that if we add both of these variances together, well, if we take the 1,470 variance from the sales price variance plus the 1,000 for the sales volume variance, that equals a total variance of 2,470. And guess what? That actually ends up being the total uh, difference between the budget and actual for sales. So that is how we can explain what the driver was for that decrease in sales. Part of it was due to a lower sales price and part of it was due to sales volume falling short of their budget. Now within a company, different individuals might be responsible for different aspects of the sales process, but that is how you would describe the shortfall in revenue. It was a combination of a lower sales price and lower volume, so they know they have some things to work on, but that's how we can use both of these variances to identify what the real drivers of variances were in a business.